Well, when looking for progress in San Patricio County, you need look no further than the Gulf Coast Growth Ventures Project near Gregory. As Mike Gillespie reports, they took a big step forward today with the completion of a new rail line. This plastics manufacturing plant is a joint venture created by ExxonMobil and Sabic, and the project has already had a significant impact on the county economy. According to Gulf Coast Growth Ventures, they've already added 600 permanent jobs with an average salary of $90,000 a year. And today, the unveiling of the newest part of the sprawling facility, the Savage Gulf Rail. Savage is the company behind it. They have a team of nearly 100 working here and tell us that most were hired from among the local population. This new system includes 36 rails of track and is essentially designed to move product. A lot of it, according to site manager Paul Fritsch. Savage has a special role to play in this site. Every single drop of our polyethylene produced in Gulf Coast Growth Ventures is turned over to the custody and care of the Savage organization. San Patricio County Judge David Krebs calls this partnership one of the great moments in county history and says he is pleased that Savage has found a home here. The only drawback, however, for the continued growth of this and other industries the county hopes to attract continues to be a shortage of affordable housing. Housing is a major shortage here uh, in San Patricio County. We're probably four to 5,000 homes short right now in San Patricio County. Because of this, Judge Krebs says that workers are being forced to live in surrounding counties, some commuting from as far away as Jim Wells and Clayburg counties. He tells us that it is an issue that county leaders will soon need to address. In the meantime, San Pat County continues to look toward viable long-term ventures for its development both now and in the future. Mike Gillespie, 3 News.